Hey guys, in this video, we're talking about the four wheel drive awning setup on our boat. Hopefully at the end of this, you get some inspiration on how you can do this at home. So middle of summer, ahead of a family holiday, I need a quick and simple solution to give a shade from the heat after a day fishing out in the water. The only way I've been able to do this in the past was basically lay down the fishing rod holders and lay towels on top of them. But what we really needed was something that was retractable and can withstand gusts of wind when in use. Here I've just unboxed the June forward drive awning currently on sale at Anaconda and i've got the two meter by two meter size awning with the awning you get a awning bracket so it comes with a little bit of a kit You've got your bolts washers nuts i've also had to get another set of awning brackets here what i'm going to do is without having to screw anything on the boat i'm going to join a couple of brackets like this quick look at the awning before i mount it up into the rod holders we got to location yesterday and we've basically just left it on the floor during our travel. In terms of the actual awning, you can see the brackets are bought from a four drive super center are the ones that are supporting the actual awning. And the original awning brackets, this one and this one, I'm using as the legs. Bolted together, I'm using a fair bit of material. This is just some old rags and stuff I've zip tied so that way it's not going to scratch the actual rod holders. And finally, you can see there's a bit of an angle here. So I've used a, a long tube just to kind of pry it back open to just get that. Uh, you can see a bit of an angle because that's, that's how the rod holders sit. Um, I've also I cracked this a little bit, so I ended up just welding it, but yeah, it's still pretty strong. Give it a, a bit of spray just so it don't, doesn't rust. Finally, just a couple of tie down straps. These ones are one meter long, bought from Bunnings. Not sure what they're rated, but they should do the job. I've measured that. That should fit perfectly into the, into the rod holders. It should slide in there. It is. Nice. To mount them in place, I've just got the tie downs. And uh, what I'm going to do is wrap it around here on top, weave it over this stopper bar underneath here. That ain't dusty. It's not going anywhere. Do that on the other side, B. Over there. Lock it in and a half hitch for safe measure. So the first land breeze test. So far so good with the awning. We haven't opened it up while on the trip yet. Well, not out in the water anyway, but it's been out a couple of times. Probably done 100 kilometers. So a bit of bumps and a bit of wind gusts and stuff like that. Sitting on the rod holders, it's fine. And we've just set it up just to see on land how it go, picking up any breeze. The last piece of the puzzle is making sure whilst we've got it anchored down, pulling down, preventing it from lifting up. If at any point this slides down, it's all going to collapse. So you need to find something to hold that in place. But yeah, so far so good. We put it up within seconds. The minute we were in shade, it made a massive difference to comfort and the heat. Okay, get the stand going. We actually lose these rods. Yeah. Put this one, yeah. Can you swing me out my stand? Okay, you, you hold the crossbar, Jaden. Okay, guy ropes. Oh, Velcro is, mate. I've got a feeling we might have to pack this up really quick because I feel the wind kind of getting gusty and beauty. There you go. All set up in 15 minutes. Nah. That was like three. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy with the setup of the awning, but the last final piece is this leg here. You can see here there's a bit of free play. I want to make sure it doesn't slide side to side and ultimately what we could possibly do is that drops down and the whole thing collapses. Okay, so thanks to Charlie Brown, one of my mates and followers on Facebook, he suggested one of these things. So in fact, I've got two on both sides for both legs and the way these work, you've got these two clips that connect to the pole. They've got these ball joints that allow me to move it 360 on both sides. One of the clamp arms will clip onto the leg of the awning. And then this one here on the side will clamp here. I'm not sure if it's gonna need like a proper horizontal um, line, but because I don't have much space to work with so far with that all locked up, that, that feels really rigid. So I'm happy with that. So the key thing here is I wanna be able to close and open this ladder and that just clears it. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos on boat modifications and other how-tos. And we'll see you next time.